Bow your head and let's contemplate in the place of prayer. I cease not to give thanks, making mention of you in my prayers. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, might give unto each one of you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. That the eyes of your understanding might be enlightened. That you may know what is the hope of his calling upon your life. And what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us what who believe. According to the working of his mighty power. Which he wrought in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead. And set him at his own right hand. In the heavenly places. Far above all principalities and powers. Might and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this world. But in that which is to come. And he has placed all things under his feet. And made him to be head over all things to the church. Which is his body. The fullness of him. That filleth all in all. Father thank you. Thank you for revelation and knowledge today. Thank you for grace. Somebody's heart has been broken. Heal that broken heart today. Somebody went into depression. But Lord, bring that person out of that post-traumatic stress disorder. And cause them to see the light in your word. Somebody's trusting you for a breakthrough, financial breakthrough, material breakthrough. Open that door for them now. Woman, receive your children. Man, receive your breakthrough. Come on right now, let miracle, let angels descend with gifts, with mantles, with favor buttons and everything that you need to make your next level a beautiful one. Receive it now in Jesus name and let the believing church say a big amen. amen. Hallelujah. Let me start by saying this. The Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 14. He said, do not be equally yoked together with what? Um, Second Corinthians, yes. And be you not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? Like verse 15. I like verse 15. Verse 15 say, and what concord has Christ with what? With Belia. Somebody shout Belia. Or what part has he that believeth with an infidel? Verse 16, read with a loud voice with me and God will bless you. And what agreement has the temple of God with idols? For ye are the temple of the living God. And God has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. Verse 17 or is that the last? The wherefore come out from among them and do what? And be what? Separate. Said the Lord. And touch not what? The unclean things. And I will do what? receive you. I like the last voice, the verse, I mean, and I will be a father unto you and ye shall be my sons and daughter, saith the Lord. Glory to God. Do you see the word there, the Bible says, be ye separate from them. Somebody shout separate from them. When you hear the word be separate, you might be thinking that God is telling you um, don't go to anywhere the world is going to. Or when they say, do not be equally yoked together with unbelievers, it means that uh, maybe if they're going to school, don't go to school. You just go to church. Or if they're doing business, you don't do business. You just shout hallelujah. Or maybe if they are doing politics, you will just sit in church and do choir. That's not what it's, it entails. When you talk of yoke, being yoked together, how many of you have been in the north or somewhere in the north where you see two cows or two animals just yoked together? Some of you have seen it. Praise God. 
most of times when you see yoke beasts, they are usually not owned by the same person. A particular family will have one and they have to borrow the other one from another family that is big. Because your, your oxen, the oxen or the yoke, the, the, the one you want to yoke, you don't use them for everything. You feed them specially. You, you are training them for work, for farm. So usually, you don't carry a strong beast that you have trained and yoke it with something that is less. Now, number one, because they are not equally yoked, because they are not of the same strength, one will pull the other and break the neck of that beast. So when God is saying, do not be yoked together with an unbeliever, do you think that God thinks you are the weaker one? No, you are not the weaker one. You are the one that is the light of the world. You are the one that is the salt of the earth. You are the one that is the city set on a hill that cannot be hidden. So if you yoke completely with an unbeliever, you are going to be breaking their necks. So they will not have time to give their life to Christ. I want you to understand this thing. It will save somebody. It will save you. If every time a man that have charm makes you scared, that means the man is powerful than you. If a witch threatens you and you run, it means you don't know who you are. Because if they yoke you together with a witch, you will not only break his head, you are going to cut off his head. Why? Because the greater lives in the inside of you. You have God, little children, scripture said. For you have overcome them, not one, them. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. So when the Bible said, be separate from them, what is he saying? What is he saying? Is he saying that we should not use their technology? And mind you, this technology, they are not owned by the devil because every good and perfect gift comes from the father of light. I have never seen the devil prepare a fried rice and prepare it very well. Something must be wrong with it. Because if it is good, it means it comes from the father of light. So if the thing is not good, if the thing is not perfect, it's not from God. So God likes good things and God wants you to have good things. That's why the altar of praise sang, if he watches over the sparrow. You know what is a sparrow? Do you know what are the lilies of the valley? That in all of Solomon, because I, did not, I, I cannot dress like Solomon, that in all of Solomon's array, that never one day was Solomon as dressed gorgeously. Like one of the lilies of the valley. And God said, if I take care of them, if I am more detailed in them, are you not better than these ones? I want you to understand something. The problem with today's church is that God is looking at us like this. We are seeing ourselves like this. So man of God, what is God saying when he said, I should be separate. I want to give you another scripture, then I'll come to that. The Bible said something in John chapter 17, reading 17 and 18. John 17, 17 and 18. Look at your neighbor, say, neighbor, something is coming on you now. Light. Say, something, say neighbor, neighbor, receive light now. Say it like a prophet. Say, neighbor, receive light. Say, receive light. Say, receive light. I'm telling you, light is everything. It's only light that reveals the complexion of your blessing. Because everything in darkness looks black. But once light comes, you can differentiate. That's why when God wanted to produce or create, he did not create first. He brought light first. He said, let there be light. Somebody say, I receive light. Place your right hand on your head. Say, I receive light. Kai, I receive light. Light is powerful. He says, sanctify them through thy truth. 
Thy word is truth. I studied the word truth in the Hebrew and in the Greek. I found out something that was very powerful with the word truth. The word truth means to verify. I'll get there to verify. Go verify. How many of you remember the slogan? I wake up today, I just say, hey, beauty. I just missed all this, the electional process. It's just, Facebook is now a little bit, I don't get anything from it again because all the things. But nevertheless, good news is coming. The word truth is go very far. Truth is powerful than facts. Facts might not be truth. But truth carried the capacity to be to hold facts. Somebody might bring something evident. Look at the blood. Look at her fingerprint. Look at everything. The facts are there. But guess what? She did not even come there. Look at the election results. Lagos, you won it. You, these men are smart. I, I just my wife saw me. I did attention. She said, "What are you attention for?" I said, "Man, I'm celebrating those guys. Those guys are bad. Those fathers never play with your father. They know what you don't know. Why you are dancing in the square? They are in the parlor. Say, don't mind that, my child. Uh, give him five years. When he come on, I tell and say nothing for him. I will fathers, fathers." If you see your father say, uh, may my son be greater than me, he's not sincere. Believe me, your father is not sincere. Touch your neighbor say, your father is not sincere. How many of that prayer have come to pass? Eh? Those times that you become greater than your parents, your father did not even pray that prayer. Because he was always there. So in his whole heart, he said, Father, since life cannot bless me, bless him. But the one way don't touch money, he go always they pray, make you get the one way go give you. Sila, 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 Sila. Let's leave there before I'll miss some people. Look at your neighbor and say, are you getting blessed? These are truthful statements. Jesus never prayed that we should be greater than him. He said, you see, there is master and a master. Let me tell you. Tell your neighbor. Say, you see that thing your father tell you that you will be greater than him. You better walk your way hard. Though. Whenever your father is praying that prayer for you, tell him to pray another prayer. At 80 something years, they still know how to manipulate us. Why men slept? The enemy. Did you know here this first? Did, did you know thirty first Simon? Why men slept? The enemy came and so tars. I wake up by two. I tap my wife. I say, wake up and pray. I pray, pray, pray. I went to my parlor. One hour more. Four o'clock. I go sleep. Four ten. They announce the results. The question is, Lord, why did I not pray through? I prayed till I got peace. I started dancing. But I didn't know that these men, these men are no joke. Look at them. You see, you see, Pale, no, don't never abuse an old man. Never. You will not go far. Once you see, you say, Bro, Daddy, now <laughs> He go tell you, say, I didn't, I'm seeing you. Say, that yeah, no. Why would they tell you that where you are trying to look on top of the mountain, they that are, they are sitting down in the chair, they are seeing it. What are they telling you? They are speaking to you in parables. When I won't win by vote. When I win, I don't go feel win by, we will win by money. We will apportion the vote. It's that wisdom is not, that's what I want to teach you to learn how to be separate. From this kind of thinking. That's where I'm going. Just hold on. Before you marry, verify. Before you say yes to that girl or you propose to that girl, verify. Who knows her? Who knows 
kills him. Find out. Don't marry a stranger. Take me to your village. Take me to your father. I want to know your uncle. He said, no, I don't, I don't have relationship with them. Me too, I will not have relationship with you. Know their family before you go marry ghost. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, Jesse, Jesse. Who is your father? My father is dead. Who is your mother? He's dead. Who is your uncle? I don't know. Where are you from? I'm just from an orphanage. Where is the orphanage you were raised? Joel said, very fine. All men does not have faith. Not all men have faith. That's not it. Verse 18, that's the scripture I wanted to go to. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I what also sent them into the world. So, if we are separate from the world, and Jesus is saying, God sent me into the world, and I'm sending you into the world so there is something he's saying. You ought to be on top of the banking industry. You ought to be on top of politics. You ought to be senators. You ought to be something. But how do you go there when the scripture says separate from them? So you must know that you are sent. But when you are going into those sectors, you don't go by their rules. You go by the rules of he that sent you. You will never do anything meaningful with power if you go into power by corrupt means. That's why Nigeria has never developed. Because the process to power is as important as power. If the process is mad, you can never use power for the beneficiary of anybody. That is why Buhari is suffering in government. Great heart, integrity, but he cannot develop goodwill to the people. Why? Because the process that brought him was corrupt. How many of you know that today you can tell that Kanoe does not bring 3 million votes? It's less than from what we are seeing now. So all the process of our election has been ringy, 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 ring a joy bell. Let me tell you something. The reason why Obi would have will do well, not would have, will do well if he becomes president. You know why? Because the process was not corrupt. Not even no shishi, there was no bloodshed. There was no manipulation of the mind of the people. He was speaking and the people were falling in love with him per day. And because of that, the goodwill of the people, because he didn't... Do you know how much I spent in this election? He doesn't know me. I don't care. But do you know what and what I did? For who? Why? Because a man said something and I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. God forbid... If this election did not turn, even if that man become president, I will not suffer. Because all you need to do is to stand for truth. And evil can never swallow you. That's all. We cannot kill ourselves because the men who are in power, they have long time planning, they have strategies, and they have systems they've placed on ground. That's why they told us that you see, you do not have structures. Because what we have learned is that a structure that delivers power. Child of God, children of God, we must learn to build structures. If we must go far, we must build structures. We must sit down and begin to say, all of us, can we handle power? Why is it that we house on the rock, we cannot bring five members of the state house of assembly? Why is it that we cannot do this? Why is it that we cannot? We begin to question ourselves. Otherwise, the weak will always rule over the strong. And once the weak rules over the strong, they always kill the strong. Your best brain should be the one that leads. If your worst brain are the one leading you, you will never have development. Is anybody getting blessed?